Hi everybody, so I'm finally working on my hood vent right here. I just have it laying down on the side and I'm measuring where to put the pilot holes for the light fixtures. So I had a lot of trouble getting those holes in. See, I just broke a drill bit right there. Couldn't believe it. That metal was super thick. So then I decided to just hammer in a, a nail just to get the hole started better. And then I switched over to this step bit. Now that's going to get the job done, but it's going to take me a while. It looks like I did it quick, but it took me about five minutes. So now I'm measuring or sticking the wires in for the fixture just to see where does it look right and where it will go. But now there's nothing to screw the fixture into, so I have to put this extra piece of wood behind it to, in order to have the something to screw into. Now I'm wiring the light fixtures so that they'll all cut on with one light switch. So I had to cut out openings in the ceiling for that extra piece of wood to be able to protrude up into the, the ceiling. Now I'm putting all three light bulbs in to test it and see if they all gonna cut on at the same time and see if I wired it right or if I need to fix something. So I made this wood structure out of some two by fours to help support the hood vent until it gets bolted into the ceiling. I guess this is a dance break. I'm always dancing. I don't even know what song is playing at this point, but I, I can't stop dancing. So this is the shaft. This has to go up through the roof right there. And as it's going up, these edges need to stop on some wood. So I'm making a frame for it to fit on there. So I had two people come and lift the hood vent up while I slid that wood support underneath it. So that's the only thing holding it up right now until I put the bolts in. So now it won't fall back out while I'm putting the other washer and the nuts on the top on the roof. They had two bolts on there on the picture. So I'm gonna put two on mine. On the instruction. Okay, so right here, you see that extra piece of wood that I put on the other side of the thing. There's one down there. They are on the top of the hood vent on that side so that I can screw the light fixture up into it. Now I'm getting ready to attempt to take this wood support out because the hood vent should be held up by the four bolts that I just put in. And also you don't have to make this uh, wood support thing that I made. You could just buy zip walls. They're $100 on Amazon. I just chose to use some four by fours just to save money because I am doing this whole project out of pocket. And uh, that's it's, the hood vent is staying up, so that's great. <laughs> it didn't fall down on my head. Alright, so we got all four bolts in. It's up. One, two, three, and four licks to get to the center of the Tootsie Roll and Pop. This one got to get tightened from the top, and this one really isn't tight either. This one, you can tell by the gap 
I can still fit my hands up in between it. So that's how much tighter it has to get screwed in. So right here, I'm cutting the opening so that the vent shaft can fit through the roof of the truck. So right here, I'm sticking the shaft up through the hole that I just cut. And the shaft still has to be cut down to size so that the exhaust fan can fit over top of it. And then after I put the foam in, then I'm gonna put this caulk on there, this marine waterproof caulk. Watertight seal, 24 hour cure, watertight flexible bond. Use above or below waterline. So this is perfect. I'm just drilling the hole so I can have a place to stick the wires through to connect to the exhaust fan. Alright, so this is the inside. The panel is still down. That's the hole I just made right there. That hole right there. So now this is the wire for the fan. So I gotta try to fish this wire up through that hole. So right here, I got some quarter inch thick, six inch long bolts that I'm sticking down to hold my curb plate in place. And then I'm also adding that marine caulk to prevent leak. And I also have a bead of caulk underneath it around the hole that I cut. So this is how I got the curb piece bolted down. Got two washers on there. This one, same thing. I'm gonna put some aluminum tape all around this, around the edges of the lip of the chef. Right here, I am feeding the wire for the exhaust fan switch up into the Loctite conduit. And then I'm sealing it off with Loctite caulk. Now I'm measuring where the opening for the vent shaft has to be cut out on this cover plate. And then I have to grind it out, cut it out with a grinder, and then place the cover plate over the curb plate with the vent shaft protruding through. And that'll seal off any exposed openings. After I do that, I have to cut the top of that vent shaft off that's sticking out. Everything has to be one even level. So I built a lift in order to get my hood vent on top of the truck. I had to ask someone to come and help me lift the thing up off the ground because it's really big. And then I hooked my exhaust fan onto it. It has a brake wrench and a pulley system in order to crank it up. If you want to see a video of me building it, I will be posting the video on my channel. So keep a lookout for that. Turn on your notifications. It's going to be called Building a Lift. And... Once I get it up there, all it is is just drilling the holes through the bottom and bolting it in. So I have these 3 8 inch lag screws. These ones are only 1 inch long and I realized I'm going to need some 2 inch ones because this is the same type of bolts that they used inside the fan so that's why I chose to use these. But the top of this fan is bigger than the actual curb plate so it gives you about a half inch to a 1 inch space for play. So these 1 inch ones are not always going to be long enough. So right here I have the aluminum tape that I'm going to use to seal off the edges of the shaft. Now I'm bringing over the filters for the vent. And I'm going to put each of those in place. It's five of them. And get those all nice and neat. So this turned out nice. I'm really thankful for the final product. Now I'm going to put in the globes for the light fixtures. And they have an industrial type look. A factory warehouse type look. I love that. And then I have the Edison light bulbs in there. So that's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.